Things are popping, pop, a Philadelphia way. We're gonna drop it, drop on all the music they play on the bandstand. Bandstand. Oh, you know, how tall are you? Well, <laughs> less than 5'1. <five>, <laughs> That's like a kid who's about to turn 16, says, I'm <laughs> almost 16. You are a diminutive person, giant of talent. The night I saw you at the forum, that place went crazy. Catch your breath. Are you shy? Um, in some instances. Because wh <laughs> when you said that to me, no, she said she was a sort of a laid-back, shy person. I said, holy mackerel, that's not what I see on the stage. I'm Did basically you shy when I'm at home or alone. When I'm on stage, I'm not shy at all. Yeah, that's, that's where you get your kicks, isn't it? That's when it comes out, yeah. What's the worst part about what you do? Well, it's hard to go on the road and uh, be, you know, in one city one night, in another city, in, you know, the next night. You've done a lot of that? Cases. Yeah, I was just on the road with uh, Rick James and Prince. Now, wait a minute. Now, that I, can, that I can follow. Rick James and Prince, you can see her working with. She opened for Sean Cassidy once. Now, figure that. How does anybody follow what you do? Did you learn anything out of that? Of the Sean Cassidy tour? Yeah. I mean, that's um, two dissimilar performers, obviously. I learned that patience is a virtue. Because <laughs> <laughs> all those little girls were there to see him. Uh, so, oh, well, now, let me jump to another thing. How did you run to There is a legend in our business, a man named Barry Gordy, who built the Motown record company from nowhere to one of the biggest in the world. How did you meet him? Well, you know, um, it was a lifetime dream. I wanted Motown from the time I was eight years old. I used to look at the blue label and say, oh, God, Detroit must be the most fabulous place. And luckily, uh, I ran into a producer who knew Barry, and he was doing a television uh, pilot, and uh, he wanted me to star in it. And the project was shelved, but he signed me to the label, and it was my you dream come true. You went to audition? Yes, I did. What's the moral of the story? Is there one? The moral of the story is that uh, anything that you want, you can have. I like that. I like that. You produced, wrote, composed, did that whole album with the one exception. Uh, let's assume you did all of it. You want to credit the one exception? Yeah, my best friend who's in the audience, Mickey Hearn. And oh, I you're better then. All right. Uh, so. Will there be more female producers in the future? I really hope so. I really hope so. As good as you all will be well. What's the name Thank of the you. selection? This is my new single, and it's entitled Young Love. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Tina Marie.